It's interesting because finding the character of Star Lord turned out to be scarier than I thought it was going to be. And what I mean by that is every other voiceover project I've ever done, I did something to my voice. I either went lower in my register, I went higher in my register, there was an accent, there was a lilt. This is the first project I've ever done in 20 years where it's just me. And that was very scary for the first episode because I, I got there and I realized, wow, I'm not going to do anything with this. I'm going to sit there and I'm going to talk and it's just going to be me. And I was naked in a way I never had been before as a voiceover actor. You're always, you can always hide behind going up and doing a big cartoony voice or going down and doing the big, you know, the deep hero voice. But just being me was something that actually scared me quite a little bit. And, and that, I think, more than anything, helped me really kind of find the character. Yeah, and he's known for his mixtape. He is. If you could add one song to his mixtape, what would you add? From the seventies? No, it doesn't just, matter. Let's just say you're adding it. It doesn't matter. I would add because I had a tape just like that growing up. I still have it. My brothers made it for me, and the song I would listen to over and over again was "Jukebox Hero" by Foreigner. So that's the song I would add to the to the awesome mix. Number one would be "Jukebox Hero" by Foreigner. Thank God you didn't say it's all about the bass. No. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll stick with Foreigner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Might want to keep your voices down before you wake the pit leeches. Stay out of here. This is why we need a Battletron. Hey, whoa, easy. Come on. How's this for a battle cry? Let's blow stuff up. Noise slug. <laughs> <laughs> 